Alright guys, another Roof Repair Techs video, some of his oilers that he has. Uh, these three back here are Pressel, these right here are Relang, these here are Swiss made. Uh, these pump upside down, sideways, um, you know, around the corner. If you can get that tip in there, it, you can pump it, it doesn't matter which way. These are made by Pressel, as you can see this one is rebranded has it. These have to be up just like a regular oiler. These have a bit on the end where they work sideways. Just not upside down. Casey Tools has these 60, 70 bucks. You can tell they fit right in your hand there. Give you that leverage to pump her. Depending on how thick a liquid you're pushing through these. Uh, you're looking at a have to reprime them 10 minutes to an hour. So it's got two different check valves in there that tend to keep the fluid up so you don't have to prime it every time you use it. But of course, that all depends on the consistency of your oil or fluid you're pushing. This one is a cast aluminum painted, it does have the same guts inside, it still has the Weebly wobbly end o-ring for the seal on the top same stop there it's the same one except for this one's cast aluminum so it goes sideways just still not upside down cast aluminum one here is about 20 bucks more than the plastic bottle this plastic is a uh, it says PE in there it doesn't say LDPE HDPE just PE there's no number in the recycle there either so could just be regular old polyethylene they do sell a smaller oiler here. This one's 25 bucks. It does have a feature there for your thumb. You can hold on to her. Give her hell. She's all plastic, no O-rings. These have the check balls in them too. There's no brass in this. This is all chemical resistant plastic. You can use harsher chemicals in these than you can these others. We're going to test this one out with that ATF acetone mix see how well she chooches in a few months but this one's only 25 bucks you get this one from amazon.de the german deutsche land amazon but as you can see pressel these right here these rylings swiss and this one's got ballastol in it so we'll open up this one it's cast aluminum this shit's great look at that can you see it smooth this one right here has a double pumper you see how that works there this one has the swivel on the end I have heard guys talk about how you know the drip comes down falls in there and collects in this little basin and goes back in uh, I think that's all a bunch of Hogwarts uh, that that shit ain't happening it ain't going back in there you're gonna have to wipe it off but uh, it's nice that it doesn't just roll right on off the fucking edge onto your table or whatever the hell. Again, these really nice oilers. The guy who sells these, uh, I'll have a link in the description to his website. It's like a Jens Pelzer. Pelz, Pelz, it's fucked up. It's German. He's a German guy. These are really nice oilers. Very high quality. Like I said, you can pump these sideways, upside down, you know any way you want to put them they'll shoot and it also has the feature there where you can hold it there in your thumb get a good pressing down on if you notice the two here relaying one tips different than the other this tip right here is an atomizer so much machining in there fine threads little bitty holes o-rings it's actually got a really good knurling on there too hand slick with ballast all you can get that puppy back on there now uh, all these kids German and Swiss you can buy service kits for them new o-rings new springs new check valves it's about 25 bucks for the kits these are by far my favorite but they're not the old lady's favorite that, that shit cost too much she'd have my ass in a fucking sling but if you need a good oiler these are the best in the industry right here definitely my favorite that bottle is just amazing. If you needed one oiler, 
and you can spend however much money you wanted on one oiler get this one there's nothing wrong with these except for you can't hold them upside down this oiler right here which we've already discussed is not near as superior as this oiler right here it is also 20 to 25 bucks more expensive than this one which is why I'm gonna have that link to the website because you should be getting one of these they're just the best all around so these cost about the same this one's far superior than this one these do have a lot of brass on the inside which may not be good for heavily corrosive fluids now this one does not swivel it pumps upside down it doesn't need to swivel it's just all around awesome that right there is the only brass piece on the inside and this one with the atomizer tip which is actually the second cheapest one on the table it's actually the best one but the second cheapest one on the table but for a few bucks more you can get the double pumper to back to the inside of this pump here you can see there's more brass on this one but it does have the check balls if you do put something corrosive in these these do have brass springs in them so uh, that may be your failing point but like I said you can buy a service kit for these and put new shit in there just make sure the next time you do it you don't put anything real corrosive in it so 25 bucks should be corrosive friendly 50 55 bucks corrosive friendly as well 65 bucks for this one not as corrosive friendly but it is a double pumper a lot more mechanical pieces on the inside for that double pump action there this one is the same price pressel or has it Ghidorah also stickers these pretzels. If you want a plastic one, you can only get has it at KC Tools. Or if you want a metal one, you can get it with Ghidorah also at KC Tools. 200 milliliter. These are 150. This one's also 150. 150, 200, 300, 500 milliliters. Different sizes. And they'll go up in about $10 increments based on the size. So the bigger ones are cheaper volume wise than the little guys once again if you guys are in the Kansas City area roof repair techs he'll fix your leak do your maintenance small repairs he's the guy to call I have his information down in the description as always like comment share subscribe love hate hard knocks forge gmail.com don't send me any panties because they never fit